Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I appreciate you coming out. Just got a belt in yesterday on my Z, for my Z Force 50, the 2006 that I got in Mayaka City for 200 bucks. I ended up giving my customer 200 for it. They were going to give it to me for free. So I found the belt on Pro Parts Place. They're out of Swainsboro, Georgia. They have a lot of replacement parts for Bad Boy and Easy Mark mowers. My customer actually bought a Bad Boy zero turn to replace the Cub Cadet. So I figured I would put this belt on. I've already taken off the old one. We kind of did an initial video and discovered why the two hydros weren't working. It's because uh, the belt fell off, disintegrated. When I first opened the bag, I thought, well, it doesn't look like it's big enough, but I kind of mashed it up with the uh, shredded one, and it looks like it's the right belt. I'll give you the part number for that. So I just Googled um, Zero Force 50 and got a parts list from one of the online parts suppliers. And then I Googled this part number and Pro Parts had it. So the Alpha-01008349 is the drive belt. There's another belt for the... Um, mow apart which is a longer belt so let me show you what i did to <clears throat> get as far as i did i kind of snooped around fished this old one out so i'll be able to fish the new belt on remove the uh, dead battery first to give me uh, an access point to the hydros let me bring you up and show you So the dead battery came out. It allowed me to fish the uh, broken belt off of the deck. Same for this side. You got access to this. When I was taking the um, battery terminals off, this one here broke. It should have a another end connector here. It just got rusty and disintegrated, so I got to replace that the uh, negative side was fine. <clears throat> so let me get you down here and I'll show you. If you're looking at it from underneath, you're going to see the PTO with a, a bolt. So I took the rustiest socket I could find and impact it off. I put the impact on, it wasn't strong enough to pull it off. The whole engine was turning, so I ended up just sticking a screwdriver down here into the flywheel. That was enough pressure to stop the engine from rotating. I thought worse comes to worse, I'm gonna break a plastic guard here, but just that screwdriver was enough to hold the engine. I was able to back it off with the rustiest socket I could find. That's been sitting under a shade tree for four and a half years. Once I removed the nut, the um, hardest part of the job was this stupid connector for the electric PTO. The issue is, is it, it sits kind of in the the middle. You can't reach it from up there. It sits like right under the engine. If you drop this down, you put in tension on this. It was a bear to sn um, snake my hands up under there and get this stupid connector off. I thought about maybe even taking some snips and cutting this stupid thing and then soldering it after but i was able to stick a screwdriver and i think part of the issue was there was a lot of crap build up on it that was the hardest part of the job is getting this 
PTO clutch off. So the, the second issue you're going to have is this spring goes to a tensioning bar up here with a plastic uh, pulley. I use the same trick that I did on another spring release issue, and I use this broken bail bar with a strong hook on it. Went ahead and hooked the spring, undid it, and... Um, the end of the spring goes right there. So I don't know how much you're going to be able to see under here. But that um, PTO has to come down so you can fish that dry belt back in. Um, that's basically the explanation I can give you the um, tensioners up in that area you can see the plastic tensioner right there so I just got to fish the new belt on here's your uh, drive belt really thick belt you can see all the hay build up here I kind of um, been knocking that hay out. Hay was totally built up in here. I've been knocking it down every which way. So that's where I'm at. We've got a little electrical work and then just fishing the new belt around these pulleys. Other thing that I Noticed I was up cleaning and I, I broke off one of the breather tubes. You can buy this end piece. They're like uh, 15 to 20 bucks each. They're threaded. You got a little rubber O-ring and they, they thread in down there. So the other one's missing on the other side. I look for the other one and it's just a an open hole so i gotta address that i don't want a bunch of shit going into the hydros <clears throat> i could not find a video on how to replace those you can see the uh fluid level in there reflecting off the sunlight but that one's missing probably broke off as you could see on the other one they're just plastic heat from the engine probably dries that white plastic out and it just uh broke off you got your engine oil drain here it looks like quick drain so that's the uh, update on the Kohler command powered cubby Data manufacture, fifth month of 06. The uh, model number, 53 Alpha Alpha, 5 Bravo, 7 Papa, 709. I'll put that down below. Beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. Cub Cadet. So I've got a another battery, a fresher battery. I'm going to put in here once I do this repair and put the belt on see if this thing moves while I was getting rid of some of that hay I blasted the hay out of the air cleaner box our oil level was good we had checked that before doesn't look old so that's my quick 10 minute update on the cubby we're going to make it all functional again what's the uh, product number on this Ogera clutch company tokyo the mike alpha dash golf tango dash 
Delta X-ray 1-1. Charlie Uniform is what that part number is. So I took some compressed air and just cleaned this thing up, blasted all the dust and crap out of this thing. Hopefully extend its life by cleaning it up a little bit. Anyway, that's all I'm going to discuss, which is enough. Check out these guys here in Georgia. Pro Parts Plus. They got a 1, not a 1 800, a local number 478 or www.propartsplace.com. So there you go. Josh is doing a hell of a job. Okay, talk to you soon. Adios, amigos. Tip your waitress and waitstaff.